some of these aliens are too smooth. Did Okir give you any imprints about the Collectors? You already know more than he did. Okir's is barely useful. If you fight them, hit them hard the first time. <laughs> yeah, that's really helpful. Just checking in. How are you doing? <laughs> I was just, <laughs> just sitting here thinking. The picture, I'm finally starting to get it. There's a tank imprint, the battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head, and a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Um... His brutality has a point? And yeah, why is it funny? And context? Uh, all of these. Can I get a uh, D, all of the above answer, please? You better have a good reason for ruining my lunch. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. What about Garrus then? Yeah. Don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have trouble on my ship. I don't hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Garrus is just one Turian and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on me. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind and he tried to make me the same. But thanks to you, I have a clan. I'm starting to see why I should care. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. He has a loud voice, considering you can still hear him from such a distance. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute. You might learn something. Collectors and Protheans. It's all about my pay grade. I'm more used to putting down rebellions. Tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, even I know a galaxy-shaking revelation when I hear one. Makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time. I've done a lot of crazy things, but I never tried to take on a thresher more on foot before. Standard operating procedure when you get a thresher more is run the hell away. Pick up sticks, move the hell out. Krogan don't know any better, I guess. Still... Hell of a fight. <laughs> sure as hell was. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. I guess that's our uh, our cue. Shimon. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicon. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. <laughs> That's kind of uh, entertaining to listen to, actually. Well, Tali, you wanted to, uh, to talk to us. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Uh, what are the charges? Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. They're crazy. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. So, what now? What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an Admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. Hmm. So 
you have no idea why they're accusing you. None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. Hmm, yeah. So, no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. Huh, that's kind of weird. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vassalani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. Hmm. Well, it's the procedure then. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial, or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Well, I'll help, definitely. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The Admirals will be waiting for us. All right. So I have. Uh... Forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. You're such a dog. <laughs> Those two are great. So, yeah, I've actually gotten a couple of. Uh, comments and I believe a PM as well about Tully's uh, loyalty mission which we obviously just uh, got and basically people have really asked me to not do it yet knowing me and me well liking Tully and immediately wanting to do it apparently it is w really worth it if I do not do it yet so that actually got me really curious. I'm actually really curious about the mission itself, but if it can get better, then hell yeah. So yeah, I, I, curiosity is going to kill me though, but yeah. Hey. Hey, right back at you. What's happening? You got a lot of questions, don't you? So what? If I want to talk to you, I will. I've been thinking. We've seen a lot of shit together now, and you're always coming to talk to me. It's just, I'm not really a girls' club kind of person. I like you, alright? That's a good place to stop. Hmm. Alright. Fair enough. Let's uh, go up. Uh, let's go to the captain's cabin and see the empty aquarium. Yeah, that's no good. So, no, actually I don't need armor. <laughs> it's not what I need. I will, let's uh, just get out of there. That was silly. You can't see your weapons there. Uh, deck two. 